how do you live using a ventilator? The focus when you first get injured is on all that you've lost, all that you can't do, the things that aren't available. And it takes a while to get over looking at the losses and seeing, you know, what you're able to do. You know, we'll have to go on a bus together. There's, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, just right out here. How can I live in my own home? Do I need round-the-clock surveillance? Uh, will I be able to get out, do some shopping? You know, uh, so many unknowns. Lately, I was doing um, daily checks on seniors. Did that for about four years, where you give them a call, and it was kind of fun because you don't have to tell them who you are. So I was, for about an hour and a half a day, not a ventilated quad. Well, you know, in the hospital, they show you a painting and let you try it out, and there's a bit of occupational therapy. And when I got into high school, I kind of started it as just having an elective where I could hang out with my friends, but the teacher was very encouraging and got me working on some art. And it just, you know, for a long time, it was just squiggly lines. And then it was almost like overnight, it just clicked and I was able to get down what I wanted to. Pass on to you from Duncan. Yeah. Coffee cool. Ooh. You know, I'm, I'm so fortunate in the, the job that I have here because I see people come through that dark hole and uh, I see them live a, um, a worthwhile, valuable life. But all we'll do is we'll just get on here at Oak, go down to Canby, get off at Baskin Robbins, have a little ice cream and come right back. How about steering into the bus? I'm not that great, you've seen me drive. Actually, you're pretty darn good. Nikki? Nick? That a girl. It's a lot easier with Nikki. When we go out somewhere and she's riding on my lap, little kids go, oh, mommy, look at the dog. Not, what is that? And then after they pat her for a few minutes, then they'll say, oh, what was that? What is that noise? What, what was it you just had done there? Hi. Currently I'm teaching mainly English as a second language to kids that are from have? kindergarten to grade three, four. And um, it's teaching how to speak and English and written English and um, just showing them what a wacky language this is. And then I'm also doing learning assistance. They're just kids that are having a lot of troubles, so need some, some encouragement, some extra support. Flip it over, hang on. It's kind of fun to be out on a farm. Now it looks like Johanna's, she's busy at work, and Walter, he's doing wonderful counseling, and I'm playing with horses and llamas. I'll just take a bit of a look. Got a few rough spots here. Yeah. To run that up. Things are just starting to grow here now. It's a bit early in the season for looking at flowers, but I'm just getting set up outside on, on, on my sun deck. I have um, pots around the perimeter and uh, I plant uh, vegetables and herbs and stuff like that. Well, I have a, a barbecue once a year for what started off to be all the polio people that I got to know over the years. When did it start? 25 years ago? It seems like we've been doing it forever, yeah. It's one of the nicest things of summer. We'd stalk them out and take over the garden, and Bob's the host, and um, it's just a really nice event. This is my wife, Wendy. Hi. My oldest daughter, Geneva. Geneva. And Abigail. Can you say hi, Abigail? They were wondering where all the people were. <laughs> say hi. I, I guess sometimes the perception is that all our challenges are around 
disability issues. But when a person looks at us, if I would have looked at a person, I would have thought their whole life was enveloped by their disability. That's their whole challenge. That's a part of it. Going bald is another part of it. <laughs> I don't really think of myself particularly as being disabled. I just, I'm me. And uh, I do things a little differently than some people, but I still get them done. I, m most of us haven't looked back. I don't think that I've moved out, but um, it's been a gradual process. It hasn't happened overnight. And there's been lots of doubts and frustrations and uh, moments where you pull your hair out, you know, but um, you get past it and... Uh, You'd think that was almost life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're living a normal life. There are setbacks and, and, you know, all that, but you just have to take it in stride.